Hello everyone, this is Alex from the Retro Review here uh, with my first ever review of my, uh, or proper review for that matter, of my HP Compact NX7400. Um, the, this is the Core, two, the Core Duo model, introduced back in 2006. I don't know exactly which month, but still, um, to be fair, I'm still new to video editing and stuff like that, so sorry if I stutter before we begin here. Um, I'm also um, getting used to doing some work with the video camera and stuff like that, so if you guys can see the screen right now, uh, that's actually pretty good for an old camera like this. This is this is a um, Canon uh, ZR200 from 2005. This was the family's old video camera from around that time. And uh, we used it for quite a few years until my mom got her newer Canon uh, photography grade camera. As of, I think, three or four years ago. I can't remember exactly when, but I digress. On with the video, shall we? Um, this thing is rocking a... 250 gig uh, Hitachi hard drive spinning at 7200 RPM and um, and has 1.5 gigs of memory um, because essentially the memory the one gig stick and the um, hard drive itself came from an old netbook uh, a little bit of a review um, later on, um, because, well, it doesn't work anymore. It'll power up, but it won't display anything, so it's completely dead, so I'm glad I salvaged the components I could, uh, from that to put in here. Um, or else Windows 10 would have been running relatively sluggishly compared to it, how it does now, after disabling a lot of stuff and tweaking it to my liking, of course. Um, no, but this thing is rocking, uh, Windows 10 Pro and dual boot with, um, Remix OS, which is, um, a newer Android x86 distribution, uh, that has a full-blown window manager. Uh, review, review of, uh, Remix OS to, co to come soon. Um, this thing actually kind of struggles with that. Um, if anyone can um, uh, send me uh, four gigs of memory, uh, this takes DDR2 and so dim, of course. Um, and if and either um, I'm going to go out and buy a Western Digital Blue uh, SSD and put it in here, or if anyone has any extras lying around that they don't use anymore. Uh, or have no use for, uh, feel free to send me it. I will, um, be sure to provide, um, anyone with a, via private message on, um, Facebook Messenger, um, with my address, so I can receive the items in question. Um, the only reason for that is because, well, I want to avoid um, being scammed or and stuff like that, so um, you guys can understand that. Um, shout out to uh, the members of the Low End PC community. Um, I have several um, old PCs in, in either need of repair or for parts or whatever. Uh, my NX7400 is needing a new keyboard in addition to more memory and uh, solid state drive. Um, and also if someone in the Beaver Creek or Dayton, Ohio area, uh, if, you're, if you can manage to do, to do so and have an extra Core 2 Duo on hand that's compatible with this thing, I'd love to upgrade it to a Core 2 Duo. Um, the Core Duo is 32-bit only, as you all know. Um, 
So therefore, that's why I'm running 32-bit Windows 10. And um, considering the Windows 10 license is um, is um, tied to the board itself and not the processor, um, be sure to um, uh, if anyone can let me know who would be able to do that. Um, uh, that'd be very helpful, and plus I want to make sure I can get this thing uh, running co running cooler than what it's been for several years now. It's been running quite hot, but it still functions properly, so I'm not complaining. But, um, yeah, this thing runs pretty decently for how old it is. It's 11 years old, actually, to be, to be precise. Uh, just like my Mac Pro here. Uh, which is a mid-2006, mid-tier model, clocking in at 2.66 gigahertz. Um, essentially, more powerful than my um, uh, DC7800P, which is sitting with a failing hard drive at this point in time. Uh, be sure to look for a video on that as well once I manage to upgrade it to a solid state drive and get a more modern GPU um, thanks to the low-end community uh, yet again for suggesting the um, uh, 1030 GT I will um, do what I can to get a hold of that sometime this week maybe maybe next week if I'm not too busy uh, it depends I'm wanting to, to get all that done before uh, college uh, fires back up again later on this August. So, um, sorry for the lack of videos as well. I've been on vacation. and um, but, uh, but otherwise, I digress. I'm back. And, um, and I'm able to um, record video for you guys and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, this thing runs pretty decently. Um, can only do 360p YouTube because of the GPU. This thing rocks the old, ancient uh, GMA 950, uh, just like my Compact Presario from a year later than this. That thing's sitting with the one gig uh, kit from the GT5220 below here. I'm sorry if you guys can't see that. I'd have to lower the, um, tripod a bit more. I'm utilizing my tripod from my, um, from my, uh, Viv Vivitar, um, uh, telescope, actually. Surprised this thing had the right threads. <laughs> yeah, I don't use the I don't use my um, telescope very often, so I think this is a good uh, secondary use for this thing. Until I get myself a dedicated tripod for that. Um, um, if I can manage to figure out who sells um, tripods for video cameras like this one um, like I said I'm always looking for recommendations and stuff so um, and plus Beaver Creek sucks for some stuff um, I've been mostly lucky with getting PCs and stuff like that compared to Macintoshes and stuff like that I had to have my Mac Pro shipped to me for that matter. I got it back in 2013 around Christmas time. So um yeah, that um that I had to have shipped to me. Which proves my point that uh certain parts of Ohio as well as some other states in the United States absolutely suck for this sort of thing. Uh Stupid PC nuts, I tell ya. 
I don't like where Windows is heading, although I'm not afraid to run Windows 10 on any uh, secondary system or primary system at this point in time because, well, I'll tell you my backstory with Windows 10 while I'm at it with this video here. Sorry if the camera's actually kind of uh, crooked, but um, let's just say obviously hello there if you guys can see my face um, um, uh, my story with Windows 10 is that I um, jumped at the chance to um, uh, become an insider uh, when it first started coming out with build 5840 um, uh, build 5840 was like a nice nice version of Windows 10, although it still had its bugs and stuff like that and was unfinished. I think Microsoft should um, open source that version and remove the time bomb or open it up to the public to mess around with. I think it would be no harm at all considering it doesn't include Project Spartan or what is now my Microsoft Edge. Um, as well as some other features like, um, like, um, uh, what would it be, um, Continuum and all the other features that would be, um, that would be implemented now, uh, with the latest build of Windows 10. Um, Microsoft, if you're watching this video, um, as well as Barnacle's Nerdgasm, <laughs> dude, you're awesome. I gotta admit, while I'm throwing, the, while I'm rolling, the, rolling the camera here, um, your videos, although you're mostly bashing Microsoft and stuff like that, I honestly respect you as a person, dude. I. What was it like to work at Microsoft for that matter? I'm, I'm actually a bit curious. Like I said, everyone, I'm sorry if the camera is a bit, a bit crooked. I might as well adjust it here a sec. I'm sorry. But, well, that's a little better. What do you guys think of that? Yet again, I'm still new to video editing and stuff like that, so I apologize. Um, yet again, Haruke Mods, um, or Greg Haruke himself. Uh, yeah, this is my first time ever recording video with a DB camcorder, so um, uh, this is the first time you guys have ever truly been able to see my face and actually um, see what I'm actually like in person so um, yeah I may have my problems with technology and stuff like that I actually um, several years ago I believe it was uh, 2014 or 2015 or around there uh, when I was filming my video on my um, custom build I had up and running still I actually had it dual booting Windows 98 SE and um, Windows Vista, um, the uh, pre-RTM, which was build 5840. Um, I had it dual booting on a uh, Samsung 7200 RPM um, IDE hard drive, which happens to be in the um, uh, e-machines um, uh, in the... Um, storage side of my basement right now where I keep all my systems uh, I'll be sure to do a video on on most of them if I can um, manage to uh, squeeze the time in before summer's over and college starts it back up obviously but um I believe Although my first video was a rough take, I'll still upload it anyway. Um, but otherwise, I've been um, 
I've been busy, um, just got back from vacation last week, or last weekend, and, um, I gotta admit I had fun, um, Hilton Head's really nice, uh, the Marriott, where we stayed at, and all that was really, really nice, uh, they actually remodeled it when we, uh, when we came this year, so, um, Beat my dad at bocce ball and stuff like that. And, um, although he beat me twice, I actually managed to beat him once. So, I had a good time otherwise. I didn't play any shuffleboard, but next time I go, it's on my list of things to do, I guess. And, um, before this video goes too long and fills up the whole um, SD card, um, this is only a one gigabyte SD card, which has, um, which has, um, very slow transfer rates, I think, um, I don't know why, uh, it's not the USB 2 connection or anything like that, I think it's just the speed of the SD card, which is the original, I think, um, I'm not recording to tape or DV tape, as, um, that's got some important footage and stuff that I don't want to lose. And that's why I've removed it from the, uh, VCR, uh, deck that's built into this. Yeah, this was more of a, um, a transition camera. Where you still were able to record using DV tape. And stuff like that, but also to straight to SD card, so yeah, this this camcorder does a relatively decent job uh for this day and age. I'm sorry for the picture quality of my first video if you guys uh noticed. Um it was very very blurry and stuff like that. I have I had it turned on autofocus too, so I don't know why. I can tell that my iPad does a better job than this, so but this is the only way I'm able to record reliable footage without um shaking or anything like that, so uh I'll be sure to upload this soon. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to upload. Um, yet again, this has been the Retro Review, signing off. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, please sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel, as well as hit the bell in the top top the top right corner or whatever or whatever or wherever the um. the um uh bell is um if you're on android it should be right next to the subscribe button or ios for that matter i think that's the same way or same way out i'm not entirely sure so um i digress um thanks for stopping by this has been the retro review uh signing off